you're pregnant and may be feeling all sorts of emotions and have many questions. This video series provides some basic information about prenatal genetic testing to help you make decisions based on what matters most to you. Most babies are born healthy, while some babies are born with health problems, which can have many different causes. Chromosomal conditions are one cause of health problems and most often occur by chance. They usually do not run in families and they are not caused by anything a woman does or does not do before or during pregnancy. It is possible to find out about some chromosomal conditions before your baby is born and the results of testing may help you and your family plan, prepare and discuss options for pregnancy management with your healthcare provider. However, no test can guarantee a healthy baby. There are two main types of tests for chromosomal conditions, diagnostic tests and screening tests. Diagnostic tests can provide a yes or no answer about most chromosomal conditions, but come with a small risk of pregnancy loss. Diagnostic tests can also be performed after delivery, usually on a sample of blood from the baby. The most common types of diagnostic tests during pregnancy are chorionic villus sampling and amniocentesis. Screening tests give information about the most common chromosomal conditions, but not all chromosomal conditions. A screening test can tell you if your pregnancy is more or less likely to have certain common chromosomal conditions, but it will not give you a definite answer. If a screening result shows an increased likelihood of a chromosomal condition, follow-up, including a diagnostic test, should be offered. Types of screening tests include non-invasive prenatal testing, or NIPT, also known as cell-free DNA screening, first trimester screening, also known as the first trimester combined test, second trimester screening, and ultrasound. Screening tests do not have a risk of pregnancy loss. NIPT is more accurate than other screening tests. It has the highest detection rate and lowest false negative rate. This means it is more likely to accurately identify whether your pregnancy has a higher chance for a common chromosomal condition and less likely to give you a false negative result. All testing options are voluntary. You may choose to have testing or you may decline all options. In case you still have questions, speak with your healthcare provider about what matters most to you.